Hello everyone. Home from work. What Chase? I don't know where Shauna went. Where are you? She go inside? What are you doing? Your uppers don't fall, okay? don't think Chloe likes Bentley very much. Goats are out for a little while. Poultry is down here eating their dinner. What, Chase? You want to play with the ball? Yeah. Okay, go get it. The waters were filled, so they're nice and fresh. Did you get the ball? Pretty turkey. Okay, so everybody is well aware of Charlie the goat. Isn't he cute? You're very cute, Charlie. Yes, you are. But, stop moving towards me. Charlie has a problem. He is attached to my butt. Huh, you're attached to mommy's butt? Well, yesterday, he got a little bit too far from mommy and decided to come running towards me and he actually barreled into my leg but at the same time had his hoof on the back of my flip-flop. I know, don't do farm work in flip-flops. But he ended up breaking my foot and spraining my wrist but we still love him huh Charlie all 12 babies still doing good their little teenage brothers and sisters and a big chicken in here she always gets in here and then forgets how to get out You're swinging so good, Chase. Mommy, help. help you do what? Get down? Help. You want down? Help me. At it. At it. Help. You want to be pushed? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. He calls her Riley. I don't know. Don't lean forward like that. Okay, got the goats locked up for the night. It's real easy giving them their grain at night because they go in. Is that good guys? I think they never eat. They have hay in front of them 24-7. Oh, little compressed alfalfa bale over there. And then each night they get alfalfa pellets and grain. And they also get free choice when they're out of all this grass and trees and weeds. Come over here and let the flock out for the night. Some of them are on the outside of the fence and some of them are on the inside. So we have to close this gate when the goats are out because they get in and eat all the food and then get the poops. Uh, 18 ducks, two turkeys, and eight hens. Four guineas. Getting noisier, my guineas. Did I say that I ordered 18 more? Because I did, but they're not coming until the end of July when they hatch. Got them from theguineafarm.com. 
I've never heard of it, but their prices are really good and they offer free shipping, which is awesome. Chickens are getting big. Oh, Anthony started the roost. I should take you guys back there and show you. So we're one step closer here. Started the roost. I'm just zoomed in. Let me zoom out. Got the top rung and the bottom. We're gonna do some up the middle. And then I have to put the shavings in here and then we're gonna start locking the little critters up in here if I can figure out how to get them to go in. It's turned out pretty dang good though. Nice and secure. That gap wasn't there before. I guess that's because the wood was wet, but that's okay. I think the roost is gonna be pretty pretty darn cool using the natural sticks. I really wish I would have messed with the ducks more as little ducks so that I could get a little bit closer to them. You know, I can walk right up to the turkeys, the chickens walk right up to me. The guineas don't, but they're like just natural, wild. I don't think you can really tame a guinea. My ducks, they always run from me. Not as fast as they run from everybody else, but they do run from me. Sun's starting to go down. So everything will eat and then it'll head up to the tree to roost for the night. They've got it down pat. I just need them to go the other way to the chicken coop. I don't know how to teach them how to do that. I'll have to read some articles or something. I've heard something about you get them in there and you lock them in there for like two days straight. You don't let them out and then that'll teach them to go back there. But it's awfully hot. Even with all the ventilation, I'd hate to lock them in there for two days. So I'll have to try something else. The babies up here will be pretty easy to teach because as soon as I move them out of the nursery, I'll put them straight into the coop. So they should go to the coop. But these bigger ones I'm hoping will follow follow them. I don't know. We'll figure it out though. If anybody has any suggestions, feel free to let me know. I think even my little teenagers are still too small to be out of their nursery, even though they jump out on their own and bug during the day, but they go back in at night. For this big one, she thinks she's a baby. Those Easter eggers are so pretty. Oh, he's crowing for you. I bought Anthony some fireworks. Let's see if we blow the place up here. Ah, oh, look how pretty it is. <laughs> run, Riley, run! <laughs> well, <Ooh. laughs> that was amazing. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Well, you want to do it? You should do like three in a row. I don't know. Or like, like that. And just let them light.
<laughs> Are you still scared? It's hot. It's hot? No. Wait, this one. It's hot. Is it hot? Yeah. Here, can I add the lighter? Wait. This is a I like that one. I like this one. You know what my mom always told me when I was young? What? If you play with fire, you'll pee the bed. <laughs> Are you guys going to pee the bed tonight? I mean, yeah. We'll just wash it. Are you guys going to light those there right next to Dexter? He's not even going to move? Probably not. <laughs> I'm like scared for that reason. Oh my gosh, I'm going to break. <laughs> See if Riley can get it going. That burning her finger off. Everybody have a good night. Don't forget to subscribe.